you're probably watching this video because you tore your Achilles or ruptured your Achilles as well. So usual story, playing basketball, pushed off uh, with the left and uh, ruptured the Achilles tendon. That was on the 22nd of July. So today is July 28th. I finally got through seeing a couple doctors. Well, yeah, two doctors, two different doctors. And I'm going the non-operative route. Um, the first thing you want to do when you, um, you know, rupture your, your Achilles is get on Amazon right now. Get this iWalk 2.0. First off, mentally, it's probably the biggest help you're going to have because you're not going to be able to be on your feet for six weeks, five, six weeks, maybe longer, just depending. So what that allows you to do is basically hands free crutches. So I'll put the link in the description. Um, like I said, this is the first video. So I got the iWalk. I also um, ordered an even step, um, which for when you're walking in the boot, it'll allow you to step evenly. So that's the first thing you need to do. Get that eye walk. Um, that way you're not stumbling around on crutches all day. So anyway, um, I'm definitely decided to go the non-operative route. Um, there's a few people, other YouTube videos. I think it's Randy Brown and the CFL and also Ethan, I believe. Um, but those are two cases where they went the non-operative route. Uh, I went that route just because I'm not really into surgery. Let the body do what it does. And there's also absolutely no risk for complications other than a higher risk for re-rupture. But when you're doing non-weight bearing, I'm sorry, when you do early weight bearing, functional rehabilitation, the re-rupture rate is about the same. And that's on the study I'll put in the link below as well. So anyway, uh, first thing I want to tell you when you do the rupture, make sure you find a good doctor, um, a good orthopedic surgeon, if you will. Um, one that's really gonna sit down with you and tell you the pros and cons of each, be honest and consult with you. You, you wanna go for a consultation. My first experience wasn't very good. They were rushed, they fit me in. Once I told them I didn't want surgery, they looked like, at me like I was a space alien. Basically like, you're not gonna get surgery? I'm like, no, I'm not getting surgery. I'll rely on my body first before I rely on somebody else to go in and possibly make a mistake or be some type of complication. So anyway, make sure you consult and find a good doctor because the first two visits were a waste. The guy was rushed. They Once they heard about surgery, it was a wrap. So anyway, I finally got referred to someone um, who was very good. They consulted with me. Uh, they told me the pros and cons of each. He told me actually how many times he's had major complications because um, he said, you really remember those. So I know doctors aren't perfect and they may have complications that may not even be their fault. So anyway, that's what you want to do. Find the right doctor, look for functional rehabilitation on the website as far as bracing, different things like that. That's how I found the doctor I'm with now look for certain keywords because I knew I didn't want to have the operation. I wanted to go the low risk to me, non operative route. So that will be my first advice when you first do your, do your rupture. I'm going to have a series of videos kind of following the progression. Um, hopefully they'll help other people as well, but please get the eye walk. The link is in the description. Mentally, the toughest part for me was realizing that I might have to be in crutches or I thought I would have to get surgery. Uh, so that, that mentally was definitely tough at first. And then I got to research it and I found the eye walk doctor said, it's fine. He's seen it before. So it's good. It keeps you from weight bearing and, and it's going to be great right now. They have me in a boot with like a lift. That's probably that big. Um, so it's a pretty, pretty big lift. Um, that way it'll meet the tendon will meet since they're like mop heads and basically you just pull them apart or when it ruptures your tendon pulls apart. So, okay. And uh, another reason why my doctor I felt was good was he consulted, they got out the, they did an ultrasound on mine as well as an x-ray stand right there and be quiet. I'm doing something. They did an ultrasound on mine. So basically, they said it was higher up than the normal Achilles tear, which when I researched was actually supposed to be better for non op route, but he said not really. So, OK, that's, I guess I just go with his word. But anyway, it's 
it's um, a two centimeter, um, I guess, tear or um, it's a two centimeter gap. OK, he said under two and a half centimeters is deemed acceptable for going the not op route. So I was like, cool, that that's good. It's higher up and it's uh, only, you know, well, not only, but it's a two centimeter gap. So I'm like, OK, cool, that'll work. Um, so I felt like that was good news. Like I said, I'm in a really high lift in a walking boot, air walking boot. He said, basically, I'm not weight bearing for four weeks or yet yeah, now. Well, Basically, I'll be put in, I'll be in this air cast with a lift for four weeks and I'll go back and I'll check and see how it's healing. Uh, he said I could weight bear on it, but it still hurts a little bit. So I'm not just going to use my common sense. And it's basically like I'm in a four inch heel, so it's hard to walk anyway. So I'm just going to kind of play it by ear. Um, he said if I were to take it off to get in the shower and I place my foot down flat, I'm gonna have to start all over again. It's it's a wrap. So I'm I have a little plastic bag that you can put over it that I saw. And I'll put the link in the description for that to cover it while I take a shower because I don't want to take any chances. I don't want to start over. I don't want to have this happen again. So that's the route I'm gonna take. Um, I want to eliminate and minimize the risk as much as possible with this recovery. So that's the ticket.